sneak preview of what we've been working on upstairs trying to organize this is like our overflow storage um but yeah i did come up here for some booster parts but this is where i'm keeping all my personal stuff up here we've got 140 motor a piaggio zip or i'm sorry a skipper 180 motor that's built we have two trail motors down there um and then we've got a bunch of uh, Derby GP1, SR50. So going through, getting all organized because we have so many parts right now that it's just taken up. Um, it's taken up a lot of room. So came up here for this guy. This is for my, what's up, Nick? Um, yeah, just showing you guys the, uh, what's up, Marshall? You got my parts ready yet? Just playing with you. Uh, yeah, so upstairs, show you guys. Hold on, bear with me. It's real dark. We're just running out of room here in our shop. Where is it? Yeah, so we have just like every room, we have just piled piled full of parts and pipes up here. Um, what's up, Max? So gonna spend next week getting organized. We don't really show you guys the upstairs too much because it's a mess, but this is, uh, this will be entertaining. Don't drive and watch, but yeah, I mean, there's bug eye frames, motors, RC1s, just boxes and boxes and boxes. Paul's stuff, which he was supposed to take out of here like a year ago. Um, but anyways, that's upstairs. Tons of parts up there. I'm gonna come down and show you the real hero, Paul. 26 work mats, these are pretty sweet. Everybody's act, um, uh, everybody's asking for these work mats. We just have three. So uh, if you want one, you better get one because we only have three. But yeah, as you guys can see, we are like loaded. And then my shop at home um, is loaded. I've got tons and tons of stuff at home too. So again, we're searching for a uh, bigger shop because we're blowing up here. Oh, hey, Paul. Hey, is that sugar-free? Mm, good job. All right, so... Um, bet that stuff is there in the AM. No, Not sure yet. So I know the reason why you guys are all here. We're going to go over... Real quick. Um, we're going to go over the differences. Brandon, what am I getting you for Christmas? Right You're the union guy making all that union money. Yeah, you should be bringing us stuff, Brandon. He's probably not even working, not even working anymore. Uh, okay, so the Aerox is pretty close to being good now where I can walk away from it. Pulls really hard. We're going to get some videos of it tomorrow. I got a little bit of riding today, but it's a freight train. So Brandon Warren, the 8.1 will destroy your, your uh, RC1, by the way. Um, I'm going to drag this around here. Um, thanks, Marshall. Yeah, so, you know, this corner is almost all just, just, I should just make this just like, just Brandon's corner right here. Paul can get a corner too. Can I get a spot upstairs? Can I, at least motor? You, you can, you can, it, okay, you, yeah, yeah, but that's, yeah, that's, that's your fault, but you can, but you have to be responsible. Okay, you get the room, you can have the whole room behind Pat, where Pat looks front, yeah. but you gotta you're responsible for cleaning all that stuff out of there in your own time. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, deal. But it has to has to be done before twenty twenty two. Can I throw this stuff in the dumpster? What stuff? The stuff in there. There's a CRT TV up there. So <laughs> Is that well there's a printer. John's so you gotta push John. There's like some surround sound. A gap will be his gift from for Warren. There's a surround sound up there John's supposed to take. So oh, if you can push him on taking that stuff. There's a surround sound up there. Ooh, I could take this and do what with it? You could take it, but it's, I told John he could have it. It's like tower speakers and Bluetooth player and all that stuff. Um, no, they're like this big, they're tiny. Put it in your car. <laughs> Put an AC inverter in your car. Uh, all right, so also guys, there was a winner for the rough house. And so he did not choose the, the, um, the towel jet. I, I know, this is up for sale on the website if anybody wants it titled. Um, cash discount? Sure, maybe, why not? Uh, the Aerox is, like I said, is like, Runs really good. It pulls really hard. It's all sealed up. Feels really good. The last few runs, um, we're making uh, right around 29 wheel horse on pump fuel. Um, on pump fuel, but I had the rev limiter on, so guessing it's probably 30, 31, somewhere, um, somewhere in there. Wheel horse, but this is an honest wheel horse. It's not some of these dinos that would show like 40, but runs pulls really hard. Um, yeah, I am too. He just he chose that guy. So. All right, so I'm just gonna get a few things out here. Uh, Paul's gonna test out. You gonna put this on? What? The belt? This guy? Is 
Yeah, yeah I told you that's cool. Um, Paul's going to test out our S23 belt on his Zuma hey, out right now. Hey, your pulley says high on it. Did you write that? Yeah, I wrote that. Yesterday. You did? To yourself? To myself. Wow. Or to whoever took the pulley. Yeah, you should just start writing notes on the back of people's pulleys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we can do discount codes for motor builds on the back of their pulleys, and then when they pull them off, the, yeah. Um, I like that. So yeah, Paul's doing. Paul worked. This this belt is. Just, I've had this. Look much, all dude, summer. look how narrow that is compared to this one. <laughs> that thing's toast. It was. Making, yeah, try this. Making, this is. This was making noises. This I is think. a race type. Okay, so the CH80 cam. Uh, so it just so happened that this is CH80 back here. So it just so happened that it actually raised the compression so much that the starter is too weak and the starter won't turn the motor over. Or so, oh, the starter failed. We don't know. So I've been cranking it with a drill, uh, but a few things. Uh, this fits up perfect. So this is one of our prototype uh, manifolds, and this filter worked out really good. It clears the cover. Um, we have the variator on that bike right there, and it showed a 15 mile per hour gain on the dyno. However, we need to. Like five on the street. It was like five on the street, but it should be closer to eight or ten. That's just a variator. So we're waiting on a starter. Paul ordered one for that bike for the CH80 so we could test it with the cam. I'm, I would be surprised if that bike didn't do 60 with the cam and the carb and the variator. Okay, so the booster, uh, I'm not going to pull out all the, um, I'm not going to pull out all my fairings, but I have uh, San Marino Blue. Uh, if you guys look up the new BMW M3 color, that's what color the fairings are. It's a, it's an actual, o, it's their OEM sprayed. They're beautiful. You ran it over. Don't do that. Um, so I'm going to kind of get out a few things to show you guys. Cause we're going to, Paul and I are going to start this party tomorrow. Um, I just need to get the Aerox done enough. So check this out. Oh, well, Sydney, Australia. What's up, buddy? Everybody from Australia is awesome. Huh, Paul? Uh, usually. They're usually. Uh, no, that was Bermuda. Ooh, Bermuda. I got a wiring harness somewhere for this thing. It's upstairs. In with the fairings, probably. Okay. These are my inners. Um, okay, guys, so bear with me here. here. Here's what we got going on. Uh, we pretty much have all the versions of the boosters here, okay? Well, okay. I forgot my nut. So over here, this is my 89. This would be considered the first... So these are all boosters technically, okay? They're, um, they're, it's a France model or whatever, MBK, France company, um, French company. So this is the first generation. The frame is mostly the same as the same as, as Paul's up there and the one I have on the lift. There's small variations, but not, not a whole lot. This came with a single, single seat and a small tank and a different rack. That's what the, the old ones came with. We call them pre-bugs, guys, but technically they're boosters here. They're Zumas. They're technically Zumas, okay? So, yeah. So, 80 and 89, 89 and 80. They made them in 88 too, didn't they? Just 89, okay. So, this one got the drum brakes here. Um, it's got different controls, different switches, and the fairing scheme is different on the older ones. Uh, yeah, so this is the AF. Uh, this is my bike, ZX. We're going to go over that again. I, now that I have some time with the Aerox and the big builds done, I'm going to focus on this guy. So that's the first version that you guys will see. Uh, you could typically tell the year. I put a double seat on this bike, but you can tell the year because it's just going to have the single seat and the smaller tank, and then it's going to have your, your drum brake wheels. So that's the first model of booster called the pre-bug. In 1990, switched to uh, double seat, but it was short. It was still short. Short. It had a different rack. And it had a single tank, though, too, didn't it? Still single tank. Uh, and then 90... And that's 91, too. And then 92 to 96, they didn't do any. And then... 90, kind of weird they just did that, right? They did that with the bug-eye, too. 06, 07. True. Um, and <clears throat> then 97, they came back. Ooh, we did and that. Was, what? You did that? Has it always been I on there? It. Uh, oh, that's right. The uh, cover failed and the bearing was bad. Did you do overrange? No. Oh, you didn't? Not yet. It's on the list. Um, yeah, <clears throat> 97 was still drum brake in the front, but it had the tall tank and the double seat. And then 98, I believe they changed it, or 99. And they had some different stems and different forks and different wheels for, as well. For 99 to yeah. Um, so Paul's bike... Paul's bike is, uh, what's up, Adam? Paul's bike is rocking the SR50 wheels, which are the same wheels that come on that bike over there. And he's got rear, he's, he's got rear disc. We should actually do a full video on your bike sometime. Yeah, um, I need his fairings. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. You got to hit up Santos. I know. Um, yeah, he, he has them. I don't know if he's safe. 
I yeah. Don't think he's saving them for me, but he does still have them. So here's Paul's bike. It's aesthetically the the it's very similar to my bike as far as like the fit of all the fairings. Um, he's got what what year are these off of? What? Your fairings. These are. A 90, <clears throat> this is the original that came on this bike, I believe. It was '97. Okay. I think. Okay. I'm not 100 sure. So he's. And this one got the 10 inch wheel disc swap, and then. I went to the 13 inch and rear disc. Okay. So, uh, and Paul's running the EBR forks on this guy, which are a nice upgrade. Yeah. Um, I, had well, to, I had to drill the axle pull out. For those. For okay. Yeah. Uh, over here, this is uh, Zach West pre bug that we're doing a full build on. That's a 98, I think. 98. No, that's a 97. 97. Too. Uh, also, if you guys are watching, if you want to do these wheels, get yeah, them yeah, now. We, we have like two sets. Two sets. Those are we are not doing those again. When I say we're not doing them again, we are not doing them again. It's not they were, gonna be like last time nope. where we said we're not doing them again. No, nope. they're very expensive to get, and they did not sell very fast. I think we have them for like three hundred some odd dollars, and they're twelves. So the only bolt on, ready to go, new twelves. That's the cheapest option, and they did not feed. They did not sell very well, so we're not doing those anymore. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. The complaints are gonna. They're gonna be complaining after they're gone. Well, um, and, then we're gonna, and then in like a year or two, we're going to get them back? No, maybe, I don't think so. Maybe. maybe if Especially with the cost of shipping going up with the way it did, because we got those in well, before shipping went through the roof. It, it, it may go back down. If it go, if maybe. Uh, we paid like, didn't we pay $5,000 to get those wheels here? The shipping cost was as much as the... Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Doubled the cost. So, um, let's... I, wonder, I haven't put this on yet, actually. You need... Uh, they make aluminum gas caps for these. They're really cool. <clears throat> Ooh, ooh, I like that. Ooh, storage? Yes. So you can like... That's sweet. Ooh. Put a whole motor in there. <clears throat> Pretty much. Careful. Don't drop it. Yeah, not my motor. No. I won't buy this either. All right, guys. So what I have here, this is would be considered... this. I'd consider this like the second generation booster. So these are all technically boosters. This is uh, from a bike. I don't remember where this came from. One of my bikes that this I the salvaged. Seattle one. Seattle one. Okay. Um, so we're going to show you guys... Uh, the difference and this, I guarantee this is the only one here in the United States. This took a long time to get money back. Money back. I had to, it had to get cut in pieces and rewelded together. Um, they only come from France. They're very hard to get. So I'm super excited to start this build. But as you can see, right off the bat, the ignition. So that's the that's our the style we got right is different from one to the other. The way the fairings mount up here, different than this bike. See how it's got the tabs here. This one doesn't. Moving down, same thing here. It's in a, it's in about the same location, but this one's got a tab that locks into your floorboard. This one does not. And again, they look, they may look like minor differences, but they're very large when you're putting your fairings together. What? No, better not be broken. That's the fancy one. It just goes down slow. You got this, Paul. Uh, this is different. You're going. What are you doing? It, it, it. Keep, hold that there. <laughs> Keep going. Do you have it locked in? There you go. Okay. So, again, moving down here. Oh, I know. This is, I'm happy about this. Um, this is where the battery goes. So, your floorboard has a drop down section for your battery in the booster. So, it goes down here. This would be considered 04 plus. This is our model that we got here. Okay. Obviously, the battery doesn't go here. So, um, and this is where the pegs go on the 04 plus. Um, so the, the floorboard is totally different on these two bikes. The top end's different. The general shape is, you know, kind of the same. Um, as far as like when you get them side by side, if you didn't know what you're doing or weren't paying attention, you may have a hard time telling the difference, but, uh, the tank. <clears throat> Ooh, I hope the belt. Oh, 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 I thought you were going to scratch your fairings. Wait, what? thought you were going to scratch your fairings. So my fairings on what? I thought you were just going to pull it off the side. So that's the tank. Um, that's how the tank sits on the on our bike. <clears throat> this is how the tank sits on the models that we got over here. Um, it's a metal tank. Your seat bolts to the front of the tank. And when you come over to the booster, your seat actually bolts to the frame. So nice. booster with the plastic tank, pre-bug with the metal tank. Um, so you've kind of seen the major differences. You come around to the back, you look at where your fairings mount on this bike and compared to the pre-bug, totally different. Uh, how hard do you think it'd be to get the plastic tank and seat bucket 
uh, well, this tank will never fit on this frame. The main issue is the main issue is finding these frame finding these frames. Good luck. It was really hard. I found one guy in France as a favor who cut it into pieces. So these were not made in. They weren't made in Taiwan. What is that? That doesn't sound good. Everything's spinning. Do it again. Do it again. It sounds like you're silent. You're. Do it again. No, oh, just run it. How's the belt fit? Let me see. Shimming looks good. Sounds like a kicker cover. Do it again. Oh, it's the the kicker cup. Uh, the, the little foot is going out and kind of... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, see how that belt feels. <laughs> you like, hey, the torque feels good, huh? Yeah, it's so much better. Yeah, so he switched to, uh, he had the Athena and then went to the Contessa just for bottom end. Yes. Yes. Way better. All right, what are you doing? You coming in or out? You're loitering. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, you were so, so close. All right, in or out? You guys saw it here. Paul's getting wild. Look at him over here. Uh, yeah, there's all these scratches <clears throat> on it up here from when it went over. Okay. Um. So sorry, I get a little distracted here. Okay, guys, we get asked all the time, and especially by Pat, about. Hey, I. I mm, <laughs> uh, hey man, these, these look pretty similar. <laughs> why, why can't I put these ones on this one? We love you, Pat. Uh, so, all right, guys. This, this is the headlight for the booster. It's totally different than the pre-bug headlight. Um, people always ask, "Oh, I'm gonna run these headlights on the pre-bug." They, they, they do they not buy fit. Them. They buy them and they don't fit. Would you teach Brandon a wheelie like you, Paul? <laughs> I can outwheel this guy on his own bike. We have a video on it. I'm outwheeling you now, though. No, I don't think so. We have a video on it that, that I outwheeled him on yeah. his own bike. I was, like, tired and stuff. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, excuses. Intake manifold welds blue. Okay. My intake's, like, falling apart. Excuses. Uh, so, so you can run these fairings on these bikes. If you're, if you're very good at fabricating... Yeah, correct. Sorry. You can run the, the newer booster style fairings uh, on the older style frames. If you can fabricate, you can weld and you can get creative, you can do it. But but we're not gonna we're not gonna walk you through doing it because unless you have metal fabrication skills, you want to cut and hack your frame and do zip ties in certain areas because you have no other options. No, you cannot do it um, unless you do that. These headlights, this is a factory style booster headlight. Hey Paul, you wanna open that up for the people? Don't drop it, please. You're gonna do that. Are you guys down to do two builds if I ship my bikes from Australia? Yeah, of course, man. Uh, always happy to do builds. Well, unless they're SR50s. Uh, I thought I had another headlight in here. Maybe I tossed it. Um, oh, that's a new one, yeah. Oh, I got it back here. I guess I didn't need to open it. The headlight, I just wanna be careful with that one. So uh, this is the, the booster headlight. Yeah, replaceable bulbs with these yep. bad boys. So booster headlight, guys is it, it's way nicer than what we got it does not fit in our factory fairing so if you but get it looks the same <laughs> it's not so if you get a pre-bug and you think that's going to fit in the it's fairing the shape, it's a totally different no it's completely different it's what are you so talking about bigger it's completely different it's the shape bigger. everything's different bigger so that's a booster headlight it will not fit in our um you could like <clears throat> wire it in and like just no like set it there though. not gonna work uh so fairings are different Tanks are different, frames are different, and then come back here. This is where the factory taillight mounts on the on our bikes back here. It's completely different. It's open. You don't have the center part. So you've got the post here for the, the rack and the back part of the fairing. You've got nothing here. Um, the battery box. Mounts are totally different. Uh, well, this is where the oil tank goes right here. Yeah, but the battery. Yep. Battery box is here mm -hmm. on... Uh, is the seat latch on the seat with the booster, or where is it? I don't know. Mount, the seat's upstairs. Here. I don't know yet. We're going to find out. Mm -hmm. Um, 
right. So yeah. Oh, we don't have an ignition, do we? I do. I think I have one. <clears throat> Check me out. What's that? Oh, I got a motor mount in here. What is that? That looks like... What is this thing? Refender Ausbedaus. Hopefully I have a... Oh, this is for your um, trail. Is it? I got an ignition floating around here somewhere. I think I got a whole box up, oh, upstairs full of stuff. Um, so also on the booster, this piece, which is going to go here, is different. Every single fairing... Every fairing on this same. bike, the motor's the same. Pretty much the motor, the stem. Uh, no, stem's different. <coughs> stem's different. Forks are actually longer, too. Motor. I guess that's kind of the only motor thing that's exactly the same. Yeah. Some, yeah. Some yep. Uh, also with the tanks or with the frames, you can see when I take these apart, how much wider the booster is. It's The whole midsection is, is wider for sure. And then your seat mounts... Cause see, I thought about putting when we did the booster fairings on the old Zuma. I tried to use the booster seat, but you can't because the booster seat bolts here, where pre bug. The latch is different. The latch is different. The latch is, it, it's not even parallel. No, it's, like it's a totally different shape too. Ninety degrees. Yep. Off. So you can see the seat mounting position is totally different. I mean, everything is different. It is it you can do it if you're really creative and you have the fabrication well, skills. At that point, you're just making the plastics fit the bike. As opposed you are to putting those plastics on the bike. Correct. You're not just bolting it on. Um, so this bike, we're gonna get. Uh, where the headlight going there? Uh, there. Okay. So I machined a stem for this one. Um, so this is the stem that's going on this bike, and these are actually uh, really cool adjustable uh, race. Paoli forks with a uh, rebound dampening, all that stuff. Uh, I don't know. I so, so these came off the F12, but I, a uh, buddy in Germany found them in a race shop. Oh, bought really? them like years ago. Uh, so, super cool. Uh, Malaguti comes with Paoli stock in the front, even on the yesterday. Remember the one with the flowers and had Paoli forks? Yes. So, uh, pre bug tank is not the same as bug eye. It could not be more different. That's the pre bug tank. We have a bug eye. <clears throat> It's down here somewhere. It's, it's a totally different tank. There's no parts that's just, uh, that are the same on the pre-bug and bug eye. Nothing. There goes oh, Paul. Yep, yeah, you can if you really, really want nope, to. Nope, it's not the same part. Not you can swap some things, but it's not the same part. There's probably a screw or something. Oh, crank seals. Oh, yeah, but I'm talking about the frame. But you're right, crank seals. <laughs> well, yeah, the belt and variator yeah. and all that mm -hmm. stuff. But as far as the frame goes... Um, uh, as far as the frame goes, in fairings, because this is a common misconception of people. Can you modify a, a pre-bug or a bug eye to run the opposite fairings? No. It's kind of the same thing when people have the Honda Elites like this. And they try to fit Dio plastics on it like that. Totally different. Will not fit in any way, shape, or form. People think they're the same. So it'd be kind of cool to make a video. Jog and Vino. People think these scooters Just swap parts over. Woo, we don't know what it fits though. Yeah. So there you have it. Do you guys have any more questions? Um, we're gonna start a series. I'm gonna start on this thing. Um, hopefully. Hey. Uh, are we missing a lot of parts? You tell me. You ordered them all. I've been ordering over the course of like two years, but. You need a cheetah seat. No, I don't do, I'm not game with that. Um, so also in about a week or so, we're going to have all these bearing kits. We got them in and they actually sent us, um, they sent the... us, Paul, would you chill out? Simmer down. They sent us bearing kits, but they were loose balls. It should have been caged. So we need, they're sending us cage bearings for the front neck, neck or for the stem front end. Paul got me out, told me to drink a cold brew and I'm going to fire it up over well, here. We just sell them as, uh, with the balls <clears> for the people who really want them. I don't know, because that's not really... I'm so excited about this. So excited about this. I mean, that's a lot of room. Mm -hmm. Will a pre-bug drive gear fit on a pre... Will a bug eye drive gear fit on pre-bug? Speedo? No. Oh, what? Mm. The front one? Yeah, maybe. Uh, <clears throat> I actually highly doubt it. Never tried, Probably but... Probably be better off with, like, a jog. Uh, no, Paul anymore. Paul can't drink bangs anymore, can you, Paul? Um, I may be able... I haven't tried yet. I'm not allowed uh, I may try one. Haven't had one. We we basically like Stop. we we went on a bang binge and then we I, I I haven't had one for 
I don't know, three months probably. I can't do that stuff I, anymore. It's I gross. Had one in a while. I may try, but... No. <clears throat> Just don't. No, I'm gonna try. Just don't. Don't. All right. Any more questions, guys? Because I'm gonna put this thing back over there in the corner. Um, and then, uh, going to start getting down. I have my fairings and stuff upstairs. I'm going to start getting the fairings out and get the wiring harness and get the ignition. And then Paul and I are going to try to bust this thing out. I've got some, as far as wheels go, I think what I'm going to do, I've got these white, uh, fresh white booster wheels. Have I met with Honda, with a Honda Dio fit? No. no. Yeah. Uh, so I have these white booster wheels. Or we have <clears throat> wheels. Uh, Max Prebug Cubby. Right now we're waiting. Uh, Marshall's asking, Marshall's doing us a favor on scanning them because right now nobody will make that one. And if I was to make it, it'd be about five hundred dollars because of the size he is. Um, so again, it's a long process. We know that the target market um, people are only going to want to pay about sixty bucks for them. So. I mean, that's the reality of it. And right now, all the quotes we're getting are like 100 plus. So not quite willing to shell out $40 for every single one we sell at this time. So we're working on getting a... $40? Well, I'm saying if, if people want to pay $60, but it cost, but if people want to pay 40 but it costs us... or say They want to pay 60 but it costs us 100 It'd be cheaper for us to just mail everybody $20 bills. <clears throat> on the bent wheel? Yeah, it's kind of fun. Don't do it. Let's see. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna run the white wheels. I have these over here. I think you should run the uh, Paul thinks I should run these. What do you guys think on the booster? The boosters are the boosters are dark blue. I could run rear disc with these tire with these wheels. Where's the other one? Full now. Oh, it's like under a sweater. Um, I could run rear disc like Paul. Um, just what he's running on his bike, but I I don't know. I feel like I should they almost run. Really good. They do, but I feel like I should run the booster wheels. Always oh, should run the rainbow. Let me see what you guys think. Those guys, I'm gonna go upstairs and grab a fairing so you can, maybe I'll hold the fairing. Too much bass boat for me. I know, man, I kind of have a little regret. Oh, dude, it's, great. it's bass boat for sure though. Yes. You don't even know what a bass boat is, Paul. <clears throat> All right, guys, hold on. I'm taking you to the darkness. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of these fairings downstairs. Oh, he's drunk, that's funny. Oh, my wiring yeah i'm gonna have to look for my wiring harness somewhere check it out boys Woo! let me get these boys in the light and see Ooh, this will look good bm uh, bmw san marino blue so Looks pretty sharp. It's got like a looks better in person. Bluish purple. It does look better in person. It's dirty. This has been sitting up there for like almost two years. Almost now. two years. Has it been that long? Mm -hmm. So. So yeah. I don't know. Let me see what the white look. The white look pretty good with that. Yeah, it's glossy. She's glossy and she's deep. All right. Grab the other one that's got the tire on it. This is how people drop wheels here. Gets me all fired up. What are you doing? <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, that would be good. Or, mm. Why didn't you grab the one with the tire on it? Uh -huh. mm. Mm, no. Uh -huh. The white has a pot. Has... Like pops, this doesn't. Yeah, but. But what, I can, so here's the deal. White for sure, see the thing is I can run rear disc. These I can't, but these are factory booster wheels. So I think, I think I'm gonna have to go with the factory booster wheels here. Oh, hey, What? Come on. Oh no, Paul's got an idea, I'm holding it. Here, pull that off, would you? Aren't your gray wheels done too? They're yeah. Aerox wheels. Yeah, that would look. I don't know, I almost think, ooh. Easier. Here, you just wanna do it yourself? Yeah, just give me this. <clears throat> Don't drop them. Also, I have Aerox wheels, which are this design, being done right now in a gunmetal gray that are gonna be done next week. But I, I'm not sure, that design almost looks too bulky and too big, in my opinion. This is almost like a purple. They didn't do a very good job on these. No. Yeah. 
You can leave that there. I'll just flip them over. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I that's the ticket. No, that's the ticket. That's gonna take too, take away too much from the ferrets. <laughs> I don't know, Paul. Gonna take away from the ferrets. You think so? Mm -hmm. And they're getting dirty. And rear disc is gangster. Okay, okay. So these wheels are these. So if you don't do rear disc on this bike, you're gonna have to do it on that bike. No, I don't have to do anything on any bike. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do. You need it. It's, Why? It's a game changer. You need it. No. Mm -hmm. No. 100%. No. 100%. You don't. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's saying white. These are factory booster wheels, though. Have you ever been a Sim DD50? Uh, no, they never came here in the United States. They came to Hawaii. Yeah, not here, but That's these the definitely look a lot well in mainland. A lot better in person. Okay. So Pat said something and you have a chance to reply and he can't really, he's not here. He said, Paul has no style. Okay, says the 40 year old man who wears his hat backwards. <sighs> Whoa, wow, burn Paul. Uh, okay guys, so you guys are saying white. Um, I personally think so too. I can always change it later if I want, which I probably will. It looks good though. It's like a purple. Gunmetal would look good too, but I, I, that's pretty fresh, dude. Yeah, Paul has a mullet. I basically told him to get where I said I would pay for his haircuts. And then you stopped. Yeah, but you said you wanted to grow it longer. Well, it's it's kind of looking like a David Hasselhoff type of thing. Do you know who David Hasselhoff is? Oh, yeah. He's that swimmer guy. That swimmer guy. Good Lord. Uh, there's a Chia Pet. That's a David Hasselhoff. I saw Fred Myers. I almost bought it the other day. You know what Chia Pet is? Mm -hmm. Do you really? Yeah. Tell me what it is then. It's like one of those things that grows. Hair. It's like a bush, a uh, plant hair. Yeah. yeah. Um, Paul should, uh, Jared said you should have brought the Tao Tao's home. No. no. They were mad about the Tao Tao's. They were. Yeah. How dare you do that? All right. So you did your belt. How was the belt? Good. <clears throat> Stand your bike up straight so I can see the fitment. I need, um, we have a flywheel upstairs, right? Looks, man, you need to shim a little bit more. Little you got it? You well, hold it? Once you hold the belt it? wears in, it'll, it'll go back up. This is not far off. So this is our it's good. This is our uh, S23 belt. Uh, Trevor uh, Mott Boys has a Honda Elite one that he tested out. And he likes it. Um, so, so yeah, we're, we're going to make the Zuma ones too. Just keep making more parts. Save you guys some money. Um, yeah, Paul's with the seat here. I'm not too sure about that. but No, yeah, DD50 yeah. never came here, so I've not, not ridden one. Seat cover's nice. <sighs> I don't know, man. Really it, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the yoga pants uh, that... What was the lady's name in uh, Marriage of Children? Never uh, Al's never wife. Never that movie. Um, Pe Peggy? Peggy? This look like the yoga pants that she, she uh, wore. Uh, no, we're not pants. doing... <laughs> Cranky, I love... Uh, as Jared says, same pattern as your thong. Oh, Dang, don't show them. Uh, no, we're not doing Piaggio belt. Peg Bunny. Yep, those are Peg Bunny yoga pants right there. Uh, we're not doing any S23 Piaggio belts because Piaggio stuff is, it, it is like the best scooter motor, honestly. It, it really is. But nobody's buying stuff. Nobody's buying Piaggio stuff here. I've had, I've had a Corsa and two cranks for Piaggio, Melissa cranks for Piaggio that I accidentally ordered sitting on the shelf for like four months now. We posted up cylinders for less than cost and they yeah, do not sell. I, I literally have a Corsa and two cranks on the shelf. Like Nobody buys them. And they're they're hands down the best motors as far as I wanna, horsepower. I want a GT2 still. Yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna steal my mom's <clears throat> when I uh, go back home. Okay. This guy keeps asking me, "Have you ever ridden a Sim DD50?" No. I, I've said three times. No, we have not. Just, not, just ignore it. I can't, Paul. Just don't be expensive. Okay. Uh, all right. So, any more questions about this, or any more questions about the bikes? Um, because this is gonna be the last live we do for this year. No, uh, not. It is. We're gonna do it next week. No, you're not. Uh, if anybody wants SR50 parts, we have this full bike parting out except the wheels and the motor. But uh, if anybody... Oh, we do have a motor for this too. Yeah, we have a liquid-cooled European motor. Um, this one had no title, so uh, it's wrapped. One side's PlayStation, which is pretty cool. Um, the other side is um, Spider-Man. But uh, yeah, Typhoons are great bikes and motors are good, but just nobody buys them. But Okay. ET2 for sale? Yeah. ET2? I have an AM6 for sale too. AM6. This guy's all done. Uh, customer, uh, David Cook, he's rad. Uh, he's going to, oh, funny, Cody Caps. 
Hey, have you ever in a uh, DD50? Uh, Cody, what's up, dog? We have a ton. Stage six, we got the orange in. We got the white in. We got a bunch of the switches. We got a bunch of trail tacks. Uh, we have over ranges, gas cans, tons of cylinders. All these intakes, tons of intakes in tons of cylinders. And we are like, boom. Uh, CH80 update. Um, it raised the compression so high on ours and we have a weak starter, so it wouldn't start. I started with a drill. So it should run really good, but right now um, we can't run yet because we're, we're waiting on a starter. But yeah, but yeah, uh, we got the Zuma Jog intake kits in. Uh, we have like 300 of these as well. Um, this is basically the same as like your stage six style intake for less money. Um, these air filters have been selling really good, spree carb kits, all that good stuff. So um, yeah, anyways. Is that it? Is that it? Maybe. <clears throat> All right. Love this bike. Pat's doing a video on it pretty soon, I think. Or he already did one, but this thing rocks. Yes, love it. If you want those SR50 plastics, um, uh, we appreciate Pat. Pat got me a Christmas present. And got Paul a Christmas present. Check it out. See? Pat got me a wallet because he heard me complaining about mine for so long. And uh, very thankful for this. Yeah. You don't? I don't pull my wallet out as, yeah. nearly as much as you do. Uh, yeah, hit me up if you want these fairings. Like I said, they're wrapped. They're really cool. They're actually really clean. Um, I have a full motor for it and all that good stuff. What's up, Carl? Um, but yeah, let me know if you want them because I'm going to start parting this bike out. How's the master cylinder on? The, uh, which one? Front or back? Front. It's not leaking. Uh, it's probably fine. I'm assuming that it's great. Can I have it? No, you can't have it. Can I buy it? Uh, also, guys, I have a Sherco that was knocked over in shipping and um, basically needs just, we have all the fairings to fix it. It's brand new. It has some scratches and the looks way worse than it really is. It's just disconnected. 3, this whole bike, these are 40, what are they, 40, $4,800 is yeah. what they sell for. Um, they sell for Brandon? That's the price. I would sell this bike for three grand, titled, brand new. They sell for forty eight hundred. If somebody wants it, they can message me. But with uh, the, within a week, I'm tearing it down and I'm gonna part it out. Let's post it tomorrow for three grand. I guarantee. The you whole, sell but then the whole thing is, you may as well just put the fairings on it and sell it for. I have the fairings for it. Yeah, but you want to deal with that? Oh, or we take the motor out and build a two fast one hundred out of that motor. Or you <clears> sell it and then buy my AM six and build a two fast one hundred. No. Out of that. So, yeah, we got some stuff to do here. All right, guys, uh, if there's no more questions about the this booster, mainly I just kind of want to give you guys a peek, uh, let me know. Um, you're you're going to get busy and not do anything. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to get all the stuff out and get ready for this for this build tonight. So get everything laid out for the morning. But I may not do anything at all. We'll see. We, we got, a, got a lot done. Was it last week? We stayed late, right? Did the Aerox. One night. Uh, yeah, and I did my headlights on my car. Oh, I got a new, I sold my van. Paul sold his van. He got an adult car. Did I? Yeah, TSX is an adult car. Is it? Yeah, is Paul's it? moving up. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower it and stuff. Oh, he's probably gonna wreck it. No. Yeah, you are. I'm just gonna keep it tasteful like I did. Not like I did on the van, but like, it's hey. gonna be high off the ground, but not. Hey, t hey tell me about that time. Hey, tell me about that time that you rolled your fenders with Brandon's fender roller in my garage. What do you mean? Tell me about... I'm not rolling the fenders. But how did it work sex. out? I mean, they, everything stopped rubbing. <laughs> Actually, Skyler helped me with that. <laughs> so I did, I did the driver's side front one. I was like, oh man, I have no clue what I'm doing. And this looks really Didn't I try good. to show you and you said, no, I know how to do it. I got it. And I said, oh, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, you did. Something like that. Yeah. Um, pretty much it came out and there were a few bubbles and it, it didn't look great. And Skyward's like, I know how to do this. We've done it with the baseball bat. It always comes out great. So we do the back two ones. It comes out good. You enough. did it with a bat? No, we did it with your roller at your mm -hmm. house. And then we go to the front one, and it comes out just as bad as the one I did. I was like, I should have just done all, all these myself. <laughs> it really came out fine. Mm. Okay. Uh, oil. Ooh, that's a good point. Oil. Oil. Oh, we're going to run a sale on the Eddie one, right? Yeah, we're going to run a sale on this stuff. It's actually pretty good for oh, right. for mostly not super crazy bikes. But, uh, but uh, sport builds. And sport stock. builds. Stock. Yeah. 
So we're gonna blow that stuff out because we have a ton of it. But mostly what I like is the, uh, I like the 800 and the 927 or 927, 710. So Motul um, caster is kind of our, um, it's kind of our, our pick. Bell so okay Bell Ray. Oh, we have Golden Spectro, which I like only because it reminds me of like my childhood, the smell of the Golden Spectro. However, nobody's nobody's ordering that stuff. Paul, you didn't write two strokes from your, your child. Yeah, I don't want to remember my childhood. No. You don't remember your childhood? You just erased it? What? No, I never. I remember. You don't remember? Okay. Maybe it's better that way. All right, boys. We're going to go. Uh, thanks for watching. And again, we're going to have a full... A full series on this guy because uh, we're going to start tomorrow. Paul, Paul and I are going to hammer this thing out, aren't we, Paul? Yeah? 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 Okay. All right, boys. Happy weekend. Thanks for watching. It's only Thursday. It's only Thursday. Close enough.